The Yet Waters winning tennis team just finished its inaugural season. Shaz Perani caught up with the team to discuss the challenges of starting a program from ground zero and the lessons learned. A lot of girls um, backed out because they say we don't have a team. And I was like, hey, this is the first year. But, you know, a lot of times people look at the history of our own programs and that's what they base things on off of. So with recruiting troubles, head coach Mark Atkinson made some adjustments and put rackets into the hands of soccer players. We made an impression because considering what we had, other coaches and players were still impressed even by the soccer girls because they picked up really fast. They improved throughout the season too. One of the biggest learning curves came outside of the lines. Just learning the NCAA compliance and making sure I follow everything to the T because I don't want to be that coach that nick his program because he's not following the proper protocol. So I reached out to my compliance director. I text him like, hey, can I do this? Can I do that? Coach Atkinson emphasized that getting legit tennis players would immediately help the team move in the right direction, but also raising awareness about the program. We're going to have a lot more community events next year, starting next year. We're going to start doing some USTA tournaments, some UTR tournaments. We're probably going to do some um, some kids day before some of the home matches next year just to show the community like, hey, we have a tennis program. We are here now. So come support, come show love. Reporting, Shaz Barani, First Coast Sports. Coach Atkinson said he does have some recruits he hopes will commit soon, and that should help the Tigers become more competitive. All in all, Coach says he's super proud of his ladies because they did everything he asked them to do throughout the season.